It is time. Class, today we have a new student here with us. His name is Little Bill. I want you all to make him feel welcome. Sup, people. Little Bill here. He's acting like he's one of the cool kids. Those kind of new students. I know. He is so weird. Why don't you sit next to Dora and we will get started. Okay. Great. What are you looking at? Er, whatever. Dora, silent please. Now as I was saying. My stuff. What in the world is going on over there? Dora dropped her stuff on the floor. She should be careful next time. Both of you please behave. Little Bill, this is your first day so I let you off with a warning. And you Dora, silent. Now, back to Algebra. What the hell is your problem? I'm not the one with the problem. You got a thing for me or something. Why would I have a thing for a tart like you? Fog off. Right. That's it. Dora and Little Bill. Go straight to Jenny's office. Right. What have you both done now? It's all his fault. He keeps being such an asshole to me. Dora. I know you have a thing for me, but please we both need to act like mature adults. Adults? How dare you talk to me about acting like mature adults? Both of you go home. This argument is a waste of time. I'm calling Bean and your father, Little Bill. Not again. Another day sent home from school. Dora, I can't believe you interrupted your lesson and got into a fight with a new student. Why must you always pick on freshmen? You spoiled ass daughter. That is so freaking it. You're grounded until Toys R Us comes back to life. Go upstairs now. Did you mow the feud there? Oh Dora. I almost forgot. Now go upstairs. Little Bill, I thought you are better than this. Having an argument with another student is not you. What's wrong with you, man? That is so it. You are grounded until Rick and Morty Season 7, with no Facebook or YouTube. Go to your room now, you cry baby. There is no way Dora is getting away with this.